Why are open source models more difficult to run? When you hear about these open source models like Llama coming out or Mistral, no one really seems to know how to use them unless you're kind of in the tech world, in the AI, no. Why is it so easy to just go to ChatGPT, a closed source model? So here's what's going on there. Closed source models are owned by a company. They are hidden from the user and you can watch my open versus closed source video to learn more about that. But they're already pre-set up to have the code hidden where the user sends their input and then gets their output. But the actual process of running the model happens behind closed doors within the company itself. Open source models are available online. So the code and the model architecture and everything is available for a user to download. And so when you hear of an open source model coming out, in order to kind of use the raw code, you actually kind of need to know how to code. You need to be able to have the hardware to run the model. It involves more expensive chips, so more expensive compute. So you can check out my AI chips video to learn about that. And then you need to kind of set up the model to run it on your own. However, there are services that will run open source models for you. So they will kind of do the wrapping it up and delivering it nicely. But then again, you are sending your data to an external company that then runs it for you and then delivers it back. But the difference is that it's much less expensive to run because these companies that are training these expensive models can kind of charge whatever they want. And often they need to charge a lot of money because it takes a lot of money to train the models. And so they need that return on their investment. These open source models are kind of charity in a lot of ways, although with DeepSeek, they claim to train the model for just a few million dollars. Whether or not that's true is questionable, but models like OpenAI's ChatGPT have been trained for at least hundreds of millions of dollars. So they they need to charge more. But the open source models are kind of given away. Granted, they might have different licenses. Some you're not allowed to use, you know, for commercial purposes. You're not allowed to make money off of them by, you know, putting them in your applications and then having customers pay for your application. But sometimes they have an MIT license, which is basically free to use. So you can put it in your product and, you know, have someone use a chatbot in your product and then make money off of that product. But all you're paying for with open source models is the cost of the compute. So if you're able to run it on your own machine, you are again, just paying for the compute. Once you have that hardware, you're kind of good to go. You have to pay for the energy to run the hardware, but that's all. Or if you're paying some kind of service to be the intermediary, so you don't have to code, they're still just charging for the cost of their compute. So again, the cost is much lower than it is to run something like OpenAI's ChatGPT or Anthropic's Cloud by paying per query every time you send data to the model and, and get something back. Or you can just be a user and pay $20 a month for these services like OpenAI's ChatGPT or Anthropics Cloud.